Eclipse IDE has a great support for the Git version control system. That is through the eGit project using its plugins. If you want to see how to install it, please watch my other video, Installing eGit to Eclipse. In this video, we will see how you can start tracking an existing project of yours using a local Git repository as well as GitHub using Eclipse. We will also see how to make a change, commit it to a local repo as well as push it to GitHub. For those of you more comfortable with the command line, please watch my video adding an existing project to git slash github using command line. Git is a free and open source distributed source control system which is very popular in the IT industry. GitHub is equally popular web hosting platform for the git repositories. First, let's go to github.com, click pricing. GitHub allows you to create free personal accounts for public and open source projects. I have already created an account, so let me sign in. Let's click start a project, give it a name, let us say demo project, give it a description, leave it as a public repository and click create repository. Let's copy this URL. We are going to add our project to this repository on GitHub. Now I have Spring Tool Suite running here on my machine which is an Eclipse based distribution where I have also installed the eGit plugin. Here is an existing project which is a Spring Boot project I had created earlier for building REST services which I want to track. Please watch its video on my channel if you want to learn how to build that. However, it can be any project, not necessarily a Spring Boot project and for the Git discussion, the type of project does not really matter. To start tracking it with Git, first let us create a local Git repository for this project. So let's right click on this project, go to team and select share project. Now we can add it to an existing repository. In our case, we have none. So let us create a new one. Check use or create repository in the parent folder of the project, select our project and click create repository. This is the location where it will create the local git repo. Click finish and it is done. Let's go to window, show view, other, expand git and choose git repositories and say open and we can see our repository here. Let me bring the window to this side and here we see the local repo. Let us also open the git staging view. So again go to window, show view, other, expand git and choose git staging. Let us also bring it here. This view shows us files which are unstaged as well as lets us commit and push changes. Next let us choose the files and folders we do not want to track. We do not want to track the bin and the target folders. So let's right click on bin, go to team and choose ignore. It creates a .gitignore file for us. Similarly, let us also right click on the target folder, choose team and then ignore. It also adds it to the .gitignore file. Let us go to the file system. Here is the .git folder which holds our local repository. Here is the .git ignore file. Let's open it. We see our two folders here. We can manually enter other entries here. So any other files or folders we do not want to track. And if the file or folder is not at the root level, we have to give its full path. All right, let's do our first commit to our local repository. So here in the unstaged folder, we have all the files and folders of our project. Let's select all and drag them to the staged folder. The .gitignore file will be used to ignore the files and folders we do not want to track. Let's give a commit message. Now clicking commit will commit it to the local repository. Clicking on commit and push will commit it to the local repository as well as push the changes to the remote repository at GitHub. Let us choose commit. So now the changes are in the local repo. As you can see, it created a master branch and here is our initial commit. Let us push the changes to the remote repository. So let's right click on the project, go to team and then remote and then push. It is going to ask us for the remote URL. Let us paste the GitHub repository URL we copied earlier. Let me enter my GitHub username and password. Let's check store in secure store so that I do not have to type it again. Click next. Let us choose our source reference 
which is our master branch from our local repository. For the remote, it automatically chose master. Click on add spec and you can see it is added for the push operation. Click next. It shows us the summary and the repo URL. Everything looks good, so let's choose finish. It prompts us to create a new master password for the secure storage. So let me enter that. It gives me a message that a master password was created in Eclipse Secure Storage and if I want to provide a password hint. Now storing the password in secure storage is totally optional. You can just elect to enter your GitHub repository username and password manually every time you want to push the change. Let me say no for now. It confirms the push. Let's close this. Now let us go to our remote repository on GitHub and refresh it. And here we see our files in here and the initial commit message. And you can see it did not bring the bin and the target folders as we had excluded them using our .gitignore file. We can now continue to make changes. So let's modify our file. Let me enter a comment. Save it. In the git staging view, it shows up in the unstaged changes. Let me move it to the staged changes. Add a message. Added a comment. And this time, let's choose commit and push to commit to the local repo as well as push it to the GitHub repository master branch. Click next. Click next. And then finish. And it confirms the push. Let's close this. Let's go to GitHub. Refresh it. And we see our second commit message. We can click on the commits to see our commit history. And we can drill down the code to see our comment in here. So this is how we can add an existing project to Git and GitHub using Eclipse, make changes, and then commit our changes. Thanks for watching.